Unbox the ABI stand components and lay out in an orderly fashion. Turn the black plastic knob one half turn counterclockwise and fully extend the shaft. Once fully extended, tighten again. Remove the accessories packet from the bottom of the basket. Using the smaller Allen wrench, loosen the cufflink tray so it can be moved along the shaft. Lower the cufflink tray about 5 inches from the top of the shaft and then retighten. Place the computer tray on the top of the main shaft with the tray handle facing forward and align screw holes on shaft head with holes in plate. Hand start each of the four screws. Continue screwing in each screw with the long end of the small Allen wrench. Finish tightening with the short end of the Allen wrench until snug and then tighten an additional quarter turn. Peel off the protective paper from the double sided foam tape on the back of the remote caddy and place on the left side of the computer tray. Press down with moderate pressure for about 10 seconds to secure. Unpack the Newman Medical Cufflink ABI system and arrange in an orderly fashion. The computer is attached to the computer tray using Velcro tabs attached to the bottom of the computer. Remove the material covering the adhesive and place in position. Center the computer on the tray as shown, placing the front Velcro tabs into position first and then the rear. Once in position, apply 20 seconds of moderate pressure to the computer to ensure adherence to the tray. Be sure to complete this step and use the supplied Velcro tabs to attach the computer to the tray. The cufflink sits on the plate below the computer tray. Use the supplied Velcro tabs attached to the bottom of the cufflink to attach it to the plate. Remove the material covering the adhesive and place in position. Align the cufflink in the center of the plate as shown. Apply moderate pressure to the face of the cufflink for 20 seconds while supporting the plate from the bottom. Use the supplied Velcro tabs to attach the cufflink to the plate. Be sure to complete this step and use the supplied Velcro tabs to attach the cufflink to the tray. Locate the PPG probe. Attach the PPG probe to the cufflink. Locate the Doppler probe cord. Attach the Doppler probe cord to the cufflink and then the other end of the cord to the Doppler. Locate the USB cable. Connect the USB cable to the cufflink and the other end to the 3.0 USB connector in the computer. Locate the remote control for the cufflink. Connect the remote control to the cufflink. Locate the blue connector hoses for the left side of the cufflink ports. Connect the patient's left blue connector hoses to corresponding cufflink ports. Locate the white connector hoses for the right side of the cufflink. Connect the patient's right white connector hoses to the corresponding cufflink ports. On the underside of the cufflink tray, there are plastic retention straps. Open the straps and feed the respective hoses, patient left and patient right, through them and snap shut. Be sure to complete this step because it gives stress relief to the connector ports on the cufflink. Place the Doppler probe in the magnetized holder. Hang the PPG probe inside and over the handle. Place the remote into the remote caddy. Your simple ABI system is now assembled and ready to perform its first ABI exam. Be sure to refer to your owner's manual. Thank you.